Hi, so RECI98 has just reached position independence for the op.exe binary of Toho 4, Lotus Land Story and Toho 5, Mystic Square. I've got the assembly dumps of both here and you can now scroll through both of them and won't see a single absolute memory address or anything that could be potentially interpreted as one. So what can you as a modder do with this now? I'm going to show you two examples. For the first one, let's jump to the data segment. Scroll down a bit. And here we have a bunch of strings still pretty close to the beginning of the data segment. These are the help texts for the main and option menus. Uh, very relevant for translators. And position independence mainly means that now we can put anything we want here regardless of length. So uh, let's compile this. And uh, without position independence, any modding you can do by editing the source is basically just glorified hex editing. But now with position independence, you can add or remove any data or code without breaking anything in the binary. Uh, let's quickly wait for this to compile. In fact, we can uh, look at the MZ diff of Zoon's original versus our mod. And when it's done, um, you notice two things. First, all those huge blocks of data, that's all the data we moved down by adding a string that's way longer than the original. And then those smaller ones all throughout the code, which are pointers to anything after our long text. So pointers to anything in this area and below. If any of these pointers weren't labeled and still were referenced in terms of their absolute memory address in Zoon's original build, we'd quickly run into trouble with our mod because those absolute values would then point to the wrong data. But now that everything is stabled, you can just add longer text or remove uh, any data and nothing will break. And if we now launch the game, we have our long text here and everything you can do here in the main menu still works as it should. Now, as you can see, position independence by itself does not mean that we've understood and reverse engineered everything about these binaries, let alone decompiled them, which is why there's still a bunch of assembly code here. And if we check the website real quick, it's 51% of TH4s and 58% of TH5s that we do understand. However, position independence does in fact allow you to write your own C or C++ code and insert that into the game. Uh, let's quickly look for here when the main menu is initialized. That's a nice point to put some code. So let's add a call to a new function. Um, test. The underscore is important if we uh, use the default C decal calling convention. And I've prepared a bit here. So X turn C, of course, very important if we write C++. Then we include a header file with a uh, function to output a text onto the PC98 uh, graphics RAM. Okay. Then we have to add this new file to the make file. and can then compile it. And if we now launch the game, we see our text here, which means that we successfully added both new code and new data to the game.